type of marketing strategy we uh, need to consider the latest trend and according to latest trend a uh, more focus should be on digital marketing because it actually helps an organization to plan plan because uh, using digital marketing we can have uh, the user feedback option which is not possible through print media so it's basically uh, helpful to use digital marketing i would uh, i'm in favor of digital marketing over print marketing See, when it comes to the marketing, there are product price based promotion. And in promotion, you just can't go with a single marketing technique, like a print media or digital media. What about the people who just can't read or write? Then the digital market com comes into picture. Like they can have access to the video, they can listen to that, what is going on in our country, the access to the news, awareness. Like Mr. Modi is going on on a radio, like a monkey bar, that campaign is going on, and the other awareness campaigns are going on in digital marketing, where youth can connect to the government, the government policies, like you can see the Swash Bharat Abhiyan, it has gained so much of momentum because of the digital marketing. Because youth is more inclined towards digital marketing, 65% of Indian population is youth, they have access to internet, internet penetration is really going on rapidly in our country. So in digital marketing it is really beneficial there, and in print marketing where the people are not having the access to the, to the internet or the other digital things, there the print marketing is required. So I would like to say that if you want to promote, if you want to reach to the masses, if you want that yes, your product should be beneficial for the whole of the country, you should have a bad name in households, then both are required. Thank you. Yes, good afternoon everyone. According to me, digital print printing, print marketing has worked completely, but still print media is more prevalent in India because according to a recent study, only 13.4% of the people in India obviously use internet. So we have to cater to the 85% plus population also. So we have to use print media also. Secondly, uh, the, we have to group, divide the population according to the age group also. Like if you are catering to the youngsters, then we will surely focus on print, uh, digital media. But if you are catering to the age group of 50 plus people, they prefer print media. And thirdly, uh, but uh, there are various uh, advantages also of print, uh, this uh, digital media. Like uh, you can measure the output. How many you, have, you can measure the headcount? <coughs> and uh, yeah. Yeah, when we talk about digital marketing, I would like to add on a point. When we see a video, when a person's more senses are involved, I mean, you see a thing, you hear about a thing, then you start analyzing the product there and then. So you, when we get a look and feel of a product, then definitely a user can relate to a product more. And also, whatever is online is measurable. You can talk in terms of, uh, like as he said, in terms of likes, and when you, you say something online, then you can measure the output. And also when we talk about the print media, therein definitely when it's about reaching the target audience, in particular uh, smaller villages and towns, then print media is definitely more efficient because people there, they don't even know how to use it. So in terms of that, when the target audience lies in villages and towns, then we can focus on print media. And when it's about targeting the audience in cities and smart cities, and when we talk about the uh, places like Delhi, Mumbai, then definitely we can go for an option like uh, the stage marketing. Thank you. So good afternoon friends and uh, restricting ourselves to the topic that was given, I think talking about digital marketing and print marketing, uh, print marketing was, I mean it used to be the do market dominated, uh, dom dominator about a decade ago and uh, but at present if you look at the stats, 0.75% of the GDP is contributed by the print marketing whereas 1% of the GDP is contributed by the digital marketing. So the reason for this boom in the digital marketing is because you know at present if you see uh, talking about the India only there are more than 200 million of online users okay and it is readily becoming very acceptable with the people because the lifestyle of the people are changing people are becoming more technology freak okay and they are they are you know uh, they, I mean they want to be they want to be totally inside uh, the technology thing okay and there is more retention power when you talk about the digital marketing people can retain your your marketing strategies and whereas the drawback of the print media these days is that it has a very selected audience okay but at the same time if you look at the cons pros, pros of the uh, print, uh, print marketing it is that you can you know there is an easy availability of the print marketing in the rural areas it is easily available people can uh, read and write through all those things if, you, if they have the access to it and people can uh, one more thing is that people can go through the entire print uh, marketing uh, advertisement okay whereas they don't have time for the digital marketing they just scan it so the problem is that people might miss out on some key notes but finally, if uh, I have to conclude, I'll say that you know, presence of both is you know, duly required by the firm uh, to ensure that a total market coverage is uh, uh, occupied. Okay, because if you look at the ad, uh, at, at the recent uh, campaign of uh, Snapdeal and Flipkart, they first uh, threw an ad on the newspapers and then they and they full time into the uh, digital marketing also. So I think both the things are uh, complementary to each other and hence can be you know interlinked with each other so that one can direct the uh, other to uh, I mean the, can ask the users to direct to the others. So this is all I would like to say and then uh, pass on to my team.
Good afternoon, friends. Uh, I think we need to see the market or area where we we are focusing on before uh, before selecting which type of media we are selecting. Like uh, print media, uh, uh, online media has more reach. Uh, rightly said, it has greater flex flexibility, cost effective, and most important, there can be very uh, many variations can be done. Like photos and videos can be added, which has a greater impact on people. Uh, and and on the same uh, line, if we talk about uh, print media, it has uh, it has reached uh, it has a reach to rural uh, India, uh, where the digital marketing is not so popular. Uh, the print media has a longer life. It it uh, the people read word to word, whereas in online uh, media there are so many distractions. <laughs> And that would actually the FDI policy in India is such that when an FDI investor is investing in India, his money is locked in for five years. So that money won't be going out of India for the next five years. But FDI is giving one of say that see and but FDI is giving hundred percent. If we are giving hundred percent of FDI to the multi retail brands, then uh, the main thing would be about the small firms. Okay, and giving hundred percent would be like giving dominance to the other people, giving uh, dominance to the foreigners to come to our country and then uh, go. So basically, your concern is that. Because there are some policies like there should be no harm to this uh, small firm, yes. there are some small businesses. Yes. There should be. There, there, there should be policies. There should be that challenge. Locations of those yeah, exactly. places. Yeah, we can we can focus yeah. the amount of metropolitan cities. Like we can focus. Uh, except uh, this is what they are asking more than ten lakh population should be there in the city. So then. We can have a midway situation also. We can go through a midway path also, like uh, giving 70% FDI and 30%. They should uh, company should take 30% their products from the local local products. And in that way, the small scale industries will be also uh, benefited. And they will not perish so as well as FDI. We can get both okay, points. So so that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's just uh, let us let us just uh, take an introspect into why the small scale industries are going to get bound by this. See, I've been talking about this. Some of our industries do not actually have the technology that is already present. And they are also even not very good. Those those companies are they are not good. Those uh, companies are actually bringing in cheaper products. So, if 100% FDI is to be there, then it should be only for those sectors for which we have the best technology in the world. So, if FDI is allowed in India, our farmers would be benefiting a lot. Right now, our yes. farmers are harassed. Farmers. Right? They are exploited. They are not. They are not given proper compensation for the growth. So, if 100% FDI is allowed in so India, proper so technology, proper package. बिग फ्रेंचाइजीज ओवर दर्ल्ड टू टू इंडिया एंड टू इन्वेस्ट समथिंग फ्रॉम फ्रॉम देर अकाउंट सो If if you if you take uh, these matters of uh, that small scale industries, small small scale enterprise, enterprises, middle scale enterprises would be uh, getting uh, affected with them with them, then it surely then they would surely uh, get affected and they would uh, deeply uh, they would uh, uh, they they would uh, their effect would be very bad. It I would, would like to add a point. Very bad effect. But ultimately, uh, those the person who would. Uh, generate a good value of his product who who, who has a bit who, who will give the best quality in terms of uh, product and in uh, in terms of price as well then he will uh, going to survive whether it is a small scale product or a large scale or a uh, multi franchise product i would like to add one point over that with 100% foreign direct investment in our country it will boom our indian economy like anything that uh, as you all know that indian economy was shaking a bit last year So if uh, 100% FDI investment is made uh, brought in India, it will boom our economy. It will uh, strengthen our Indian location threat of dollar. Okay. This is just one small question I have, and actually, if you are running a company, okay, mid-sized company, I'll give you a choice. And people who, what would you choose? Print media, or you can't say I want both. You have a mix of that. You have to decide right now whether you want print media or digital media. And
1963, with the opening of a small sugarcane crusher, we began to build a heritage of trust. We earned it little by little. Building a business conglomerate with a substantial presence across a whole gamut of industries and a healthy appetite for growth. A pioneering name across industries We are the Wave Group, an organization built on trust.